Key rollover, often referred to as ghosting by the marketing departments of keyboard manufacturers, which by the way is an incorrect use of the term ghosting, but we'll talk about that in a bit, is a measure of how many key presses can be registered simultaneously by a keyboard. It's represented using the format of X key rollover, where X is the value that represents the number of keys that can be pressed simultaneously. The max rollover rating a keyboard can have is N key rollover or NKRO, which signifies that every key on the keyboard can be pressed simultaneously and every single one of them will be registered by your computer. Now let's go back to ghosting for a second. It has a few meanings nowadays. Traditionally, and this is the proper definition, ghosting refers to an extra third key press being registered on your computer as a result of two completely unrelated keys being pressed simultaneously on your keyboard. So you're typing away and you hit A and L at the same time, and on your screen, A, L, and I, or some other third letter would pop up. This is extremely rare on any type of modern keyboard. So when you see anti-ghosting on the packaging for your new keyboard, what the manufacturer is often referring to is a very weak three key rollover implementation that sometimes doesn't even cover the whole keyboard and offers only partial coverage on certain keys that users are likely to press together, like W, A, and G for FPS gamers. Typically, this kind of anti-ghosting is only seen on inexpensive rubber dome or membrane keyboards. A quick side note here though, guys, is that if you want to test out what value of key rollover your keyboard actually has, Microsoft, of all people, has an awesome tool to do so online. There's a link in the video description, so be sure to check that out. Now back to rollover. It's not just membrane keyboards with shoddy implementations here. Even on mechanical keyboards, until recently, users were often surprised to find that full end key rollover only worked on the dated PS2 connector, with the USB interface only being capable of six key rollover, which can register up to six letter keys and four modifiers at the same time, which is why many hardcore mechanical keyboard fans have stuck with PS2, and why some mechanical keyboard manufacturers manufacturers still include PS2 adapters in the packaging for their keyboards. In recent years, however, new developments have allowed full end key rollover to be functional over USB, which is why companies like Ducky and Corsair can offer it on their keyboards no matter which plug you're using. So the astute among you might be asking yourselves by this point in the video, is end key rollover even necessary? I mean, it's certainly cool, you know, and for geeks like me, you know, more technology is more better. But outside of some very specific cases, like programs that allow you to use your keyboard as a piano, probably not. In my personal experience, including gaming, word processing, web browsing, and hardware testing, I've yet to really feel like I needed to press more than six letter keys and four modifiers all at the same time. But let us know in the comments if you can think of some situations where it would be important to you. Like uh, that time you wrote a letter with your face. Speaking of your face, do you ever wake up in the morning, reach for your razor, and realize that it has turned into a rusty, dangerous mess, but you just shave with it anyway because you don't want to go to the trouble of going to a store, finding an employee, asking them to unlock the razors, which are behind a, you know, an indestructible sheet of plexiglass because apparently no one in the adult world can be trusted to have access to sharp objects? If so, really, Luke? I already gave you some Dollar Shave Club razors, and if you happen to not be Luke, then never worry about that hassle again by subscribing to today's video sponsor, Dollar Shave Club. Their slogan is simple, shave time, shave money. For only a couple of bucks a month, they will send you premium bathroom supplies straight to your door. Stuff like razors, thanks Linus, that wasn't obvious by the name Dollar Shave Club, right? as well as Dr. Carver's Shave Butter and Post Shave Moisturizer and their ever popular One Wipe Charlies, butt wipes for men, which come in bathroom size and single use travel sizes. And yes, they are exactly that kind of butt wipe. There is no further explanation needed, I hope. Anyway, quit wasting your time and money on store-bought razors. Head over to dollarshaveclub.com slash Linus and check out their full line of awesome bathroom supplies today. Also linked in the video description, that's why I did that. Anyway guys, like the video if you liked it, dislike it if you disliked it, leave a comment letting me know if you have suggestions for future Fast As Possible videos just like this one, and as always, don't forget to subscribe for more videos just like this.